Hey everyone, it's uh, Andrew with Andrew Jericho Technology. Wanted to introduce you to what I'm calling the Evolution 2 um, cooling system. You've already heard, if you've been watching my videos and, and uh, Facebook posts, about the Evolution 1, which is the same fan shroud here as Evolution 1. What I've done that's different here is instead of a one uh, kind of inlet design I have now a two inlet design so you see this in the background it's set up here um, instead of a normal backing plate I actually have this uh, essentially inlet design that um, fits on the back of the alternator so instead of a backing plate I've, I've designed a inlet on that on this side of the engine so so we've got, we've got backside and frontside inlets, and the fan, which I'll show you in a little more detail, I'll pull this off here in a bit um, to show it to you, um, is essentially a dual-sided fan. Uh, this was inspired from the Porsche Type 547 engine. If you're not familiar with that, you can, if you, if you Google uh, Porsche Type 547, you'll, you'll see some good images of it. This was an engine that Porsche designed for Formula One racing many years ago, but it was also designed to fit into the Porsche 356. So it is a flat four engine um, with uh, dual overhead cams though, no, not a push rod engine. And uh, these engines, they didn't make very many of them. They're pretty rare. They were in, you know, probably handfuls of 356s and they were in the Porsche Spyder as well, as far as I know. And uh, it had a dual inlet design, double fan design as well. And that's where I kind of took the inspiration from. Uh, did some testing on this. Um, still need to optimize the fan. Uh, but this is the first test I've been able to do where the fan fit properly. Um, and both sides were working. And, of course, the alternator fit properly with the, with the new inlet instead of a backing plate. Um, getting that kind of geometry right was a little tricky, but... Uh, but we got it, and you know you can still it still just you know bolts on in the same spot, and you you know your tools can still reach it, and the uh, the strap that holds the alternator you can still reach that and get that in there. So so you know it, packaging wise it fits perfectly now, and uh, there's nothing in the way in terms of you know you have this kind of velocity stack inlet, um, and you've got you know supports on here that you know hold this thing together and it's actually quite stiff it actually look, works really well um, stiffer probably than the backing plate itself so it's good so anyway um, that's kind of what we're doing there I took some measurements this morning and those measurements were real promising I'm gonna do some more optimization on the fan and measurements are gonna go up but uh, what's really nice uh, it seems like the concept is working that's the thing that's you know uh, major here that I'm actually getting more airflow than with a single fan so it's really kind of two smaller fans versus one large fan. And, uh, and those two smaller fans um, certainly uh, seem to be performing quite well at the moment. So, so you know, a measurement from just the, the backside fan is actually uh, significantly higher than even my next generation fan uh, with a uh, velocity stack uh, on that backside. So that's really good. And then, um, um, you know, figuring out exactly how to measure the front side is difficulty. So right now I've got a way I can kind of mathematically estimate it, but it does look like the overall fan shroud in that estimation, you know, is actually flowing more air with this approach versus the evolution with the single larger fan. So, uh, so this will be uh, another option for people to have uh, to get even more cooling. Uh, compared to, you know, and still fit, you know, with the Evolution 1 and compared to Doghouse fan shroud and early fan shrouds, any of the VW fan shrouds, and still fit exactly the same way, uh, using all the same components. Um, so it'll be really nice, I think, in, in general. So the testing's really good. I'm going to pause and go away. I'm going to take this off, and then I'm going to come back, and then we'll uh, show you kind of the details of how this looks kind of close up. Okay, we're back. This is Andrew again with Andrew's Air Cool Technology um, showing you the introduction to the Evolution 2 cooling system that I'm developing. And I'm holding in my hand 
the alternator, what what would be normally a backing plate, but is now an inlet for air to the front side fan, and then of course the regular inlet to a backside fan. So you notice there's no holes in this at all because obviously with a front side inlet, you don't want the air turbulence between essentially what is a fan here and a fan here back to back to each other um, to you know to, to circulate between there. Plus, when you have an inlet here, and uh, you can't really see it, but but that's on this on this inlet uh, that has a velocity stack on it. Essentially, it's open in the back, so air will move through the um, alternator, you know, you know, in in and cool the alternator just like if you had a normal backing plate. In fact, this will actually do it much better. Um, because there's essentially no obstructions and there's a lot of air moving in through this front side fan or, or back side fan really. Uh, so you got a double fan back to back um, and uh, this is going to get a little more optimization based on what I found today and, and just the fit I actually realize I have more more room uh, in the fan shroud and with this um, inlet instead of a backing plate uh, it doesn't extend back into the fan shroud at all, so I have some, some room to uh, to grow uh, the fan a little bit, which will help, um, and I'll change the blade design just a little bit as well. Uh, and you'll notice that actually the two fans are not the same. I don't split them evenly across uh, the two. The two. This is not, you know, an even split, and the reason for that is pretty is pretty straightforward. Um, there's just more obstruction air coming in here than there is in the back side so this is always going to get somewhat handicapped in terms of how much air can flow so you don't want these to be even you want it to be uh, essentially uh, proportional to what the inlet's capable of and that's what we've really done here so so that's why one side is slightly larger than the other uh, when Porsche did this um, there on the type 547 engine theirs were even but, and they actually had internal ducting in the fan shroud for each fan side that was completely separate, almost like a tubing effect is what they did. Um, but they actually had um, uh, a little bit different, you know, uh, fan shroud. And I could make a whole different fan shroud that allowed this inlet to be even bigger um, on this side. Uh, but, uh, and then even these things out, but really, from a manufacturing perspective, we're keeping the cost down. If I have one fan shroud that I can just put this on versus the versus a, a regular fan with a regular backing plate, um, that saves a lot of uh, um, uh, money in terms of how much it costs to make this stuff and, and just complexity making two wholly different things versus all I got to do really is have a, a, a different fan and this uh, inlet to, to replace the backing plates. With the Evolution 1, I'm creating all new backing plates anyway, uh, which I needed to do. So, so having two different kinds of essentially backing plate and an inlet um, and a, a fan that's virtually the same except split in half back to back to each other, um, it's, uh, you know, a lot cheaper to, to do is less less different components I'd have to make and I can make a bunch of the fan shrouds and just uh, mix and match uh, the cooling elements to do evolution one versus evolution two so that's uh, kind of the reasoning behind it and kind of the way this thing looks and and I don't know how, how well you can kind of see you can see the fan there um, and I want to do a little bit better alignment of that ridge of the fan with the inlet, so we're going to open that up just a little bit more on that side, uh, so it lines up. The airflow lines up a little bit better. That will help uh, on the front side, but we're also going to change some dimensions, and and this this side of the fan is likely to get a little bit bigger, which is fine. Um, I, that will just you know uh, increase the airflow a little bit. So, generally speaking, I think we're in great shape with this. You know, a little more iteration to get the design finalized. Uh, and uh, we'll be good. So um, that's Evolution 2 fan shroud and, and cooling system and what we're kind of doing there and I think it's going to be uh, pretty cool.
uh, for people. And if you just, you know, you know, if you have high high horsepower, street engines, race engines, whatever it may be, um, you know, this is just another step up from what I, you can do with Evolution One. Um, so it'll be nice, I think, and uh, um, kind of cool looking too, I think, generally speaking. Uh, with the inlet on both sides and, and the velocity stack. So I appreciate the time that you guys spend uh, watching these videos and, and supporting me. Uh, and we just appreciate uh, you guys uh, completely and uh, appreciate all the interest in business. And uh, hopefully we'll have Evolution 1 and Evolution 2 uh, start shipping in the new year. Uh, won't be this year, but uh, hopefully in the new year, um, you know, whether that's January, February, March, we'll see. Uh, kind of how things uh, fall out um, with uh, everything, but we'll uh, we'll try to do it as as fast as we can. So appreciate it again, guys, and appreciate all the interest in the business. And thanks, and we'll talk to you later. Bye bye.